hello beautiful people it's your girl here again frida and i welcome you all to my youtube channel a very special thanks to you all for tuning in today yes fam how are you all doing hope you're doing great yes by the title of this video you already have a hint of what it is about yes today's video i am going to be showing you how to cut your spinach leaves without a knife Oh my God, someone is already asking, how is that possible? Yes, it's going to be a very quick one because I've seen cases where people normally run away from eating spinach soup because they don't want to go through the stress of chopping it. So I want you to do me a favor. When you finish watching this video, please forward it to your contacts to help others as well. God bless you. And now let's dive right into the video. Here I've got a bowl. And here I've got my grocery bag. You can use any bag of your choice. And I'm going to be sterilizing this grocery bag just to keep it clean. And watch me as I do this. I hope you can see. And now, here is it. And I'm just going to be adding a little of white vinegar. You can as well use salt and warm water. So right here, I'm going to be leaving it to sit for like two, three minutes. Then before I will bring it out. Now, if you are that type that normally wash your spinach before chopping it, you feel free to bring it out from the bag and wash it just exactly the way I'm going to do it or the way you normally do yours. But if you are that type that doesn't bother, maybe you trust the source where you normally get your spinach from, that it is always clean. I, for one, I trust this particular brand it's always clean but i'm still going to be rinsing it if you want to rinse it if you are that type that normally would want to rinse your spinach so this step number two is for you but if you are not stay tuned and watch through before you get the step number three and now I'm going to be bringing this one out. The bag is already sterilized and I'm going to discard the water. Try as much as possible to take off the water. Here you go. And now, I'm going to be opening the bag. And I'm going to discard this. Pouring warm water. into my spinach. I hope you can see it. Now the water is almost filled to the brim. I mean the bowl is almost filled to the brim. And I'm going to be adding a little of salt to rinse. Feel free to rinse with lots of water generously. You 
can either use a sieve. Remember, I said earlier that I trust this particular brand. It is a very clean one, very, very clean. And now, our spinach is already washed. Here is the grocery bag. Lift it up a little. You can as well use your filter, all right, just to get the water off completely. Here you go. Now, I'm going to tie the bag right now and take it to the freezer till the next day, all right? It depends on the quantity you're making, all right? So even if you're going to uh, make spinach soup for a very large number of people in a party, this method it's a very very unique one okay you can never ever go wrong with it all right so now i'll see you the next day all right stay tuned and keep watching i'm taking this to the freezer right now now our spinach is ready ha <laughs> ha now we are going to be cutting the spinach without a knife okay don't forget, make sure you leave it to freeze properly, okay? Now watch me. Pathfinders. So, my beautiful Pathfinders, you can see that our spinach is ready. Ha <laughs> ha! Easy life. All right, you don't need to sleep in the kitchen. All in the name of cooking. Okay. <laughs> so, if you find out anything like a lump inside, never mind because the water was not properly drained from the spinach, the fresh spinach. So that is the reason why you are seeing this kind of ice inside. All right, if you find anything like this inside and you still want to break it furthermore, just go ahead and tie your bag and try and break a little more, okay? So that's basically it. And please, if you want to use this method to chop your spinach, make sure you use a bag that is quite thick all right so you won't have your spinach spilling all over in the process of breaking it okay so even as you can see right now you can just literally break this ones with your hands yes and you can see how smoothly chopped this one is oh my goodness yes fam this method actually works for all kinds of spinach all right you can use it to chop your ugu leaf which is pumpkin leaf you can use it to chop your big leafy spinach it's not just only baby spinach all right so please do me a favor and forward it to all your contacts so you can be able to help one or two persons out there all right thank you so much for watching and may god almighty bless you richly in jesus name amen i'll see you all in my next video Bye-bye.